Hi, this is Xlop, and I want to show you how to build a new Joystick Gremlin profile. And if you want to do that, the first thing you have to do is you have to install Joystick Gremlin, of course. I'll put the link to this website here in the description and um, absolutely take a look at the quick start guide because here you'll see that you don't just need Joystick Gremlin, you also need to have VJoy installed. Joystick Gremlin uses VJoy as an output. I'll just assume that you'll be able to uh, read and follow the installation instructions for Joystick Gremlin and VJoy yourself. So we can jump right in. This is Joystick Gremlin. And what we do is we create a new profile. Let's just do that. Okay. Now this is a fresh one. There's nothing in here. In my case, these are my pedals. This is the left stick and this is the right stick. The first thing we have to do, I'll just go to my right stick, go to actions and create a one-on-one -on -one mapping. What that's going to do is it just assigned my input axis to a VJoy output axis. It put my first axis to the X axis of the VJoy device, this to Y, this to Z and here are the buttons and so on. We do the same thing for the next device, in my case, the left stick action create one-on-one -on -one mapping and there you see it also assigned the axes of this stick to the VJoy outputs and the buttons. It's supposed to be a very simple and a very basic joystick remnant setup so that we get started in not more than a few minutes. So the first thing we have to do is we have to check that the axes are assigned properly. So I go to the right stick and I yaw. That is supposed to be the X axis. That's right. Now I pitch a little bit on my joystick. You see, that's the Y axis. That's right too. The Z axis on my stick, that's the brake lever. Um, for simplicity, I don't want to uh, assign that to anything. I just want it to do nothing. So I click the little X here to delete the remapping that is done here. I go to no op in the drop down up here. I add that. And now you see this little icon that means that this axis doesn't do anything. And I'll leave the rest as is. As you can see, there are the buttons down here. There's a hat. So that's fine. Go to the next stick. Now this is the one where I want to go ahead and do the strafing on. So the X axis in this case has to be the X rotation because the X axis of VJoy one is already being used by the first stick. Remember here, that is the X axis. So the second stick cannot use the X axis and that can only get messy. Now this is the second axis. This is Y rotation. This is the Z rotation and the fourth axis on the T1600. That is the, the slider. That's the throttle. So we can leave that as it is. And basically that's all that we have to do. And now for my pedals, that is pretty much the only thing that is a little more fancy that we have to do here because my pedals have two axes, one and two. And what I want uh, to do is I want to use these pedals um, for strafe forward and backward. So what I have to do, I have to merge them. And you do that up here you go to actions, merge axes, click on new axes. And now I have to select axes that are used for the lower half and the upper half of the new axis that we're creating. So I'm selecting for the lower half, my pedals, axis one, and for the upper half, my pedals, but this time axis two. So that is the input and the output is going to be our virtual device, our VJoy device one. And we have to use an axis that is not already used. So in this case, that for me is the Z axis. And we're done. So why the Z axis? Because remember, on this stick, we use the X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation. And on this stick, we have only used the X axis and the Y axis. And so the Z axis, it's free to be used for my pedal merging thing. So now 
the very, very, very basic profile is already set up and good to go. And we can actually go ahead and use it. And in order to do that, um, you have to run the profile, of course. It's the little gamepad icon up here. When it's green, the profile's running. You'll also see back down here in the bottom left corner um, that the profile is running and active. But for the bindings to work correctly, you have to use one of the tools here, which is the input repeater. When you start to do the key bindings in Star Citizen and you push a button, uh, Star Citizen is going to recognize the input from your actual device. It's not going to recognize what is coming from Joystick Gremlin because Joystick Gremlin is not able to hide the actual USB devices when the profile is running like Target does, for instance. So you have to use an input repeater. And now at the bottom right corner, you see repeater waiting for input. So what you do now, for instance, if I want to bind the uh, pitch axes and you see it's received an input and now when it shows that you quickly have to bind that axis and you're doing that with all the other axes with all the other buttons that you want to use and when you're done you go here to tools and you turn the input repeater off again when you're in the game and actually trying to fly um, it's going to do some weird stuff and you don't want that so just simply don't forget to turn the input repeater off again when you're done with binding stuff in the game. So I'll turn this on now and hop into the game. All right, so here we are in the game. And as you can see, I put the bottom right of Joystick Gremlin right here. So you can see what is happening while we're binding stuff. So we get to key bindings here to Joystick, Advanced Control Customization. I have been loading a clear profile so we get something fresh to start from. So what we have to do is use the joystick to pitch. It receives the input and when it shows the axis we start the binding in Star Citizen and here we have our Y axis. Now we're going to yaw. So you yaw on your joystick, receives the input, you start binding and here we go. Next, roll axis. I roll on my other joystick it receives the input, I bind it, and here we are. Next one, strafe up down. Receive the input, Y axis rotation, that's good. Next is strafe left right, I receive the input, start binding, works. Now for the pedals, receive the input. Z axis, that's right as well. I'm gonna show you the buttons for a fire group. So I'm pushing button one, binding it, there you go. Pushing through on the dual stage trigger, got button two, there you go. And now all you have to do is go through everything and see what you wanna assign a button to and Bind your way through the whole list until you're ready, until you're happy with your setup, and then you're good to go. That's it. And you're good to go to part two, which will show you how you can use macros to overcome semi-automatic ship weapons. So go ahead, check that out. I hope you have fun with your joystick gremlin profile.